Mike Cavanaugh with HIVHero.org and HeroNews.org, and I'm with the very handsome Logan Kessler. How are you, Logan? I'm great. It's good to be here. So where did you get the name Logan? Was someone a fan of Logan's Run or something? <laughs> uh, no, I was named after the airport. Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, my mom actually wanted to name me Cohen, um, but then my dad wasn't feeling that. And uh, he's from Nebraska. He's from this really small town, Nebraska, and the name of his county was Logan County. So they somehow... I did on. I don't know how you go from Cohen to Logan, but it's, it's amazing. People name people after signs in the street. It's great, great, exactly. great fun. So or where? Fruit. Y- yes, or fruit. Uh, so where are you from? Uh, I'm originally from a small town outside of Houston called Liberty. And how did you make the transition to New York? Um, well, I after high school, I went to performing arts high school, and then um, I was going to go to college. I got into a few colleges, but I just kind of didn't really want to. So um, I moved to New York when I was 18 um, and just have been, you know, doing shows ever since. But you were doing theater when you were a young kid. Tell us about that. You got your equity card when you were 12? Yeah, I, um, I started doing uh, professional uh, regional theater in, in Houston at Theater Under the Stars. And uh, it was really great hands-on, like, learning. And I did shows uh, growing up. I did shows with uh, Tony Randall and Lilian Montevecchi and... Um, Joanne Worley, people like that. So it was all really inspiring and let me knew, know kind of what I was getting into and that it was possible to like live the life of a gypsy, you know. That's awesome. So tell me, your mom was a dance mom, right? She uh, kind of. She definitely was always, you know, uh, she was so supportive. I had a very supportive family and um, my mom and dad uh, were always taking me to class, taking me to theater jobs, uh, making sure I was in my voice lessons, acting lessons, all anything that I wanted to do, they were very gung-ho. Uh, so, just so did she volunteer to make the costumes to get you a better role? Yeah, <laughs> and they were really good costumes too, I have to say. You got your Broadway debut in Lacage. Lacage yeah. Fall, one of my favorites. You were with Nick Adams, right? Yes, yes. Great, Matt Ansatil. Yeah, Matt. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that. How did you get your first Broadway show? Um, Well, I had done Lakaj a few times, like doing regional theater. Um, And whenever it was coming back to Broadway, um, I just was, I had to, I was like, I have to, this feels so right. So I I went to several auditions and um, I was actually in a show at the time at Paper Mill. And on the day of the final callback was our first day of tech at the theater. And um. And I just remember going to the director and just being like, I feel really great about this. I have to go. And so um, I'm going to I'm gonna get out there as soon as I can. And so I went to the final callback. They kind of knew that I had to go, so they let me. I kind of had to go first, and I did everything. And then I got on the train, and I kind of found out, you know, the next day that I got the job. So, Logan, you were also in West Side Story, and you went to London and performed in the West End. What was that like? It was really great. It was um, London is such a, a cool city. It was really nice that uh, that I got to be there for longer than like just a vacation. It was really interesting to kind of learn the town and feel like I really knew my way around there. Um, but it's pretty gray. It rains a lot there. Um, it was it was incredible though. It was really really nice. Although I was kind of broke the whole time. Because uh, the exchange rate, I think when I was there, that was when it was like almost two dollars for were like a pound. So it was, it was, it was, it wasn't uh, cheap, but it was fun. I liked it. A you lot. guys were for a bunch of awards, right? Yeah, I, I think we were nominated for. Uh, I think we had like three or four Olivier nominations. Yeah. And then you went on tour. So what was it like? Uh, the comparison to London audiences to American audiences. Um, they definitely were um, not as like vocal, or but they also are kind of uh, yeah they're they're a little bit more polite. They kind of are much more quiet, um, and they don't they don't just give a standing ovation at the end of every show, you know. So we knew like when we got a standing ovation or when that happened, like it was a great thing because they're not as um, on their feet, I guess, as like an American audience. But yeah, you know, I I bet they were better dressed. Yes. I'm only saying that because I go to the theater all the time and people are wearing sneakers. I mean, dress up, it's a theater, people. Yeah, let's have a little fun, you know. So, look, there's so many kids that are coming into New York with dreams of getting on Broadway and being as successful as you are. Do you have any advice about what they should do to get on top? Uh, I think it's just about hard work and really um, believing in yourself and kind of don't, 
uh, let what anyone else says affect how you what, how you feel about yourself. You know, um, it's really hard. It's really hard to to keep getting that rejection and to keep moving. And it, but you just kind of have to um, stay focused on why you love theater and why you want to perform and um, and just keep pounding that pavement. Yeah, you know what? It's all about rejection in this in this industry. So please don't give up. Believe me, I'm used to rejection <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Logan, what is quirky about you? Um, what is quirky about me? Uh, I have some weird little isms. Uh, I kind of am, am obsessed with reality TV. I watch way too much of it. Um, and I also have a slight uh, online shopping addiction. That's some kind of quirky. Uh, eBay is kind of like my go-to. I love to like sit at home and have a few cocktails and the things that I find on eBay that I just can't live without. Um, my partner Jeff always like d is always like laughs whenever I get a package and we open it up because half the time I don't even remember what it is that I've bought. So it's always it's a nice surprise. <laughs> I'll just say I'll have what he's having. <laughs> <laughs> so Logan, one of the reasons I picked you as a Broadway hero is all of your work in the community, especially your involvement in Broadway Bears and Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. Why is that organization so important to you, and how have you been involved? Um, I just think the work that they do is so incredible, and I think it's um, it's really admirable the way that the Broadway community has come together and the amount of money. It's, it's, it's staggering how much money they raise every year. Um, and I used to love um, when, doing, when we were doing the Paj, not only in New York, but also when I did the tour. Um, it was always so fun um, to go out in our in you know full costume and um, with our buckets and get a chance to kind of like meet people and take photos with them um, and also Broadway Bears I've done Broadway Bears twice um, and it, it's always just like so much fun it's like there's it's such a celebratory atmosphere um, and it's great it's really great to see everyone come together as a community and work really hard to raise so much money. So Broadway Bears is coming up in June. Please get your tickets. They are one of the people that we love the most. You can find all information about them on HeroNews.org or at BroadwayCares.com or BroadwayBears.org. And maybe you'll do it again this year. Yeah, maybe. I might, I might have to start fasting now. <laughs> so funny. Everyone I know that does this, you know, they do the cleanses and all that stuff and stop drinking. You know what? I'm against that. How many days are in Lent? 40. What day does Lent end up? Easter. Where is the World Cup being held this year? My apartment. Brazil. <laughs> uh, name five New York sports team. Uh, the New York Knicks, the New York Rangers, uh, the Brooklyn Nets, um, the New York Yankees. How many is that? Four. Um, and the Radio City Rockettes. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, what state is Miss America from? Texas. New York. How fast does light travel? Really, really fast. 186,000 miles a second. <laughs> what fake country was Anne Hathaway princess of in the Princess Diaries? Oh, um... Like Annoyingville, I don't know. Genovia. <laughs> what Real Housewife of New York has a fake leg? Aviva Drescher. Okay, that's great. I'm so you. Real Housewives, okay. yeah. I think you did pretty well. I'm obsessed with every kind of trash TV, as everyone knows. Andy Cohen, you're a genius. So, Logan, I want to thank you for being the Broadway Hero of the Month for April. It's my birthday month. It's spring. It's the holidays. So, happy holidays to everyone. Thank you so much. It's, it's really been a lot of fun. Happy birthday. Thank you. And our slogan, as always, is condoms are hot. Do you think condoms are hot? Condoms are so hot. Hi, this is Logan Kessler, your Broadway Hero of the Month for April. Uh, spring has sprung, so get out there and have a good time. Just make sure you do it safely. Condoms are hot.